show us how we can take our holiday photos in style this season with a beautiful one-of-a-kind scarf camera strap is our one-of-a-kind DIY or Orly Shani. You never stop amazing me. You always do such creative things. Debbie, thank True. you. This one is so fun because this really is like an accessory. It's a functional accessory that adds a little pop to your outfit. A little pizzazz. Yeah. And I know you were inspired by this Saturday's premiere on Hallmark Channel of Picture a Perfect Christmas, where the main character is a photographer, right? Exactly, exactly. So she is an extreme sports photographer and she heads home for the holidays, coming home to kind of look after her grandma. And she ends up befriending a neighbor and sort of helping with his nephew. Aww. And it's a really beautiful movie. It's a beautiful story. There they are right there. Um, I mean, another great, another great holiday movie here. And this really did inspire this project because I thought she would love this so much. She has right. such great style. The clothes in the movies are always so fun. So this would be something that could have easily fit into that world. And I bet they fall in love and someone's going to have to take their photo. Oh. So they'll need a strap around their neck so An they don't drop photo, a maybe? very important piece of <laughs> equipment. All right. So exactly. It is very important. It can be heavy a camera. So yeah. We have to start with some great fabric. And I know you're actually making your own scarf. Yeah, yeah, listen, you can absolutely use a scarf that you already have, but we were talking about this. A lot of scarves are either really thin and delicate or they're huge, which means you would be cutting away a lot of what makes them really cool. So what I did is I head to the fabric store and I just bought a quarter yard of fabrics that I thought would be cool. Something metallic like this is a really great option because it's going to work with a lot of different items in your right. closet because it's sort of a pop. So what you wanna do, the first thing, is take your fabric and fold it lengthwise, okay. right? Down down the center. Once it's lengthwise, you're going to fold it again this way. Okay. So basically, we have our, this is around our neck, okay. right? Now, this quarter yard, the width of the fabric was 60 inches, which is a little bit too long. All right. So I'm going to cut off about eight inches here, but all you have to do is line this up around your neck to see it. exactly, to see exactly how long. Okay. Now, what I realized is it looks really nice to have this tapered effect. Mm -hmm. Not only does it look cool, but it also is functional because you're going to come down into a small clasp and you sure. don't want this huge bulk of fabric. So what I'm going to do is take this fabric that I've already folded in half. If if you've got some clothes pins, you can do this, or if you're not using a super thick fabric, regular pins are fine, okay. but we don't wanna leave a hole. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I just decided that about two inches was the right width for me. This okay. can be completely custom to you. Start here, and a trick when you're cutting is don't actually look at where you're cutting. So if you can show me right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna be looking at where I'm cutting. Okay. I'm gonna be looking at the end of my fabric. What? So I'm, I'm just so going, scared. I'm going like this and I'm looking at where I'm going. Okay. Thank you if I'll you could hold, hold that. It for and you. it naturally takes me around and creates the right natural curve. And that's because you don't look at where your scissors are, you look at where you're going. That is really interesting. Isn't that that's, bizarre? Do you know when you're doing a lot of sports, snowboarding, they yeah. say the same thing. Don't yeah. look down at your feet, you look where you need to go. Exactly. Otherwise you will fall. 100%, that's, that's exactly true. So now we have our tapered effect. Now what you would do is flip this inside out and just do a simple straight stitch all the way down. It almost right? looks like a tie. Totally. Yeah, absolutely, cool. absolutely. So you can see here, I've done that. I've okay. sewn it all the way down the side. Now, one very important thing to note is that I am leaving open about a three or four inch gap in the center. And that's because if I tried to flip this whole thing inside out, it was oh, never gonna happen okay. because I tapered the bottom. So by leaving this open, now I've got, all I have to do is flip half. Would you fill that with anything? It doesn't have to no. be filled? No, it doesn't have to. It's, it's just gonna be, gonna be really, it's super strong. That's why okay. you want to be working with fabrics like this. This is a faux leather. This is strong. You want to work with something that has no okay. stretch in it because you don't want that when you put it on, it stretches down by the sure. weight of your camera. Okay. So as you can see, I flip one side. I would do the same thing to the other, and then I would simply hand sew closed that little section. And it's important to hand sew this. Yeah, just that little part. Okay. Yeah, you want to hand sew it closed. Um, it's a it's a really simple thing. It's not a whole lot, but okay. it is. it does make it easier to flip it inside out. Okay. Now. Now we have to do our tat, our exactly. What do you call these? The little straps. It's a little. Yeah, we're making our own little like clasp on the bottom, something okay. hardware to hold it. So this is what I do when creating the pattern. Take your finished piece that's already been flipped inside out, so you know how wide it is. Draw a line around it, so we know how wide we want it. Now grab. We're going to use a lobster claw. Grab the lobster claw and do the same thing. A line on either side like this. Now just connect them. Now you have a custom huh. pattern made. So if you fold this in half, 
and cut it out. It twice. When you open it, you got it. It's like this, perfectly symmetrical. Beautiful. Okay. So now we take this. Any color you want is gonna work, but what you need to do is take the end, fold it and drop the lobster claw on it first. Cause obviously once it's on, you can't get that on there. Right. Now you would center this in and the middle. This is very important that you sew as well and don't use um, fabric tack. Absolutely, or, or, absolutely. Okay. This is just, the, the thing is, is this is carrying the weight of some very expensive hardware. Yes. You do not want that when you put this on that the, the fabric glue or whatever glue you're using pops and that thing tumbles to the ground. I mean, my heart, yeah. Don't do that. Cameras are very expensive, and that would be an awful gift to give someone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> do not do that. Just sew it. Yeah, and so you can see, you're just following the line. Follow the line. You can use a matching thread like this, or you can use a contrasting thread. And then at this point, it just depends on what your hook is on your camera. If the hook on your camera is really small, you may need to add a jump ring to the end of this. Okay. If this hook is too big, just depends, or you can find a lobster claw that fits. Swap these out. Such I mean, they really. Idea. Yeah. They've got like, I mean, there's so many amazing so options. Creative. Look how Listen, fun they are. This would be great for Vanessa. We were just talking about it because Cameron's wife, Vanessa, absolutely loves to photograph things and she's very good. It would be great for John. John is yes. a photographer as well. Anyone who likes to take pictures, give them this for Christmas. Yeah, That's this a is a gift. great gift for that photographer in your family. We all have one. That's right. You know, we all have that one person. I mean, I guess you could even put your, your smartphone on the end of this. What? Maybe not as. Maybe a little. Because a lot of people use <laughs> You're like, hello? <laughs> You I love it. Be sure to tune in to Picture a Perfect Christmas this Saturday on Hallmark Channel. You just killed me. And you can also select this movie to be on your team for our Countdown to Christmas Fantasy game. Now remember, one lucky viewer will have the chance to win $20,000, y'all. So if you haven't yet, head on over to HallmarkChannel.com to sign up and select a team of movies that you think will be the most watched because the more your movies are watched, the more points your team will earn, which means you'll be closer to winning. Round three voting is open from now through November 9th. Good luck, everybody.